Okay, so today's video is on Plantable Kiki. We're gonna check out what she's been eating on TikTok, what I eat in a day, Plantable Kiki. We're gonna check it out because I've heard that she's basically eating raw till four style, high raw, which is fantastic. So yeah, let's get into it. Let us know down below in the comments what you think and let's go over to TikTok. Okay, so we're on TikTok and I wanted to check out Plantiful Kiki's What I Eat in a Day. Okay, she's got a couple of What I Eat in a Days here on TikTok, so we are going to get straight into it. What I Eat in a Day for Thyroid Healing Down 70 Pounds. Let's go. Oh, we have no sound. What I Eat in a Day for Thyroid Healing, I'm down. Oh, first of all, Kiki, thank you for not having that ridiculous sound in the background. An actual human voice. Well, wow. down at 70 pounds and currently eating a high raw diet for my thyroid. So, early Good. mornings are high raw. You know, I promote that. Here are just beautiful, and I like to start the day with 32 ounces of lemon water to flush toxins. And then I move to my celery juice. That flushing toxins thing, that's not exactly how it works. But, you know, it, it just irritates the intestines, basically, you know, and then the body will have. It will kind of encourage a bowel movement. You know, it's not flushing the toxins. It's just, you know, irritating the ba basically the innards because it is quite, you know, you wouldn't just eat an orange, eat a lemon. You know, try and eat a lemon, then look at your face in the mirror as you're trying to do it. It's like, because mm, the body is rejecting. Even though I do have some lemon juice here and there, not lemon juice as in like in the cooking or whatever. I don't just have it in water. Um, I might have like lime or something like that. But if you just eat it like that, you, the body's saying no. It's saying no. So that's why, yeah, it kind of initiates a of lemon water to flush toxins, and then I move to my celery juice. After celery juice, I usually have a big bowl of fruit. Today has Okay, so she had celery juice. Yeah, it's not bad, but flush you have to, you know, something I'm thinking about more and more recently, and, you know, I've been thinking on and off about it for a while, is the fact that the plant, it doesn't want you to eat its root, its stem, it's leaves, so it's going to actually put toxins into those areas. Celery is a bit of an interesting one, but it, you are eating the entire vegetable, you know what I mean, you're, the entire plant. So you're probably going to get a whack of, you know, what it is, exactly plant pesticides, because the plant has to try and defend its life, you know, <laughs> defend it from pests like us. So it's just something to think about and to like look deeper into what you're getting an abundance of when, you do, when you're juicing it. Toxins. Like I know it's being promoted as really healthy and I'm not saying it's not but I'm also saying it's it's definitely worth looking into deeper you know to see what you're consuming regardless of the marketing. Then I moved to my celery juice. After celery juice I usually have a big bowl of fruit. Today I had strawberries, kiwis, pineapple. That's quite a small bowl of fruit. An apple and banana and I was quite hungry today so I also made a green smoothie and sipped on that while I got. So she's saying I was quite hungry. But honestly, this isn't a lot of food so far. So she's kind of saying it like, oh, you know, I ate a lot, <laughs> you know, but this is just juice. It doesn't even count. This is a tiny amount of fruit. Yeah, that's just a couple of pieces of fruit chopped up. And this is a small green smoothie. And I was quite hungry today, so I also made a green smoothie and sipped on that while I got some work done. Then my husband had to run down to town, so I took advantage while he ran errands and went and walked around the gym for a while since it's been snowy and cold out oh, here on the home. Wow. Look at that place. <laughs> that just reminds me of like High Carb Hannah's place in Arizona, just somewhere I wouldn't want to live. <laughs> And some people like it, you know, some people like it in the snow, some people like it dry and stuff. Not me. I mean, I don't like it super wet either, you know, in the tropics it can get too wet and you feel like mouldy, but just a bit of a balance in between Homestead. is good. When we got back to the house, I was hungry, and so I had these two mangoes and good. two pears, and I just sliced them up like... Good. Not bad. Very, very good. Not bad. I mean, not bad as in, like, the quantity this and they were really really good, That's good and really filling and then I changed my clothes and started painting the master bedroom in the cabin from this ugly <laughs> lime color to white while my husband finished paneling the accent if you also want to get great results on a fruit-based diet then check out my books I've got these fruit-based books is the first book I wrote and it is packed full of the mistakes that I made as a raw vegan to begin with and I give you better solutions I give you you know actually 
how to do it properly. Okay, so that one and the transition raw till four diet, which has a cooked dinner. Recommend this one as well. It's got a lot of fruit involved. It has a little bit more flexibility and also fully kind of more cooked transition, which is my naked lunchbox, which it also has fruit as well, but these are lunch boxes. So check out these books. A link is in the description below and yeah, lose weight, feel great. I've lost over 40 pounds. It really works. Get started today. Wall in our room. So then I made a huge a salad. Huge so she's got a lot of olives there, which can be quite salty. Um, you know, you can have some olives, okay. And I don't know what the dressing is, but she might tell us. Lid for lunch and then got back to painting oh. and I started painting that accent wall matte black, which it's coming out really, really nice. Yikes, black like that? I don't... <laughs> This personal preference. I don't think I'll be doing that. It'll be fun to show you guys once I have this master bedroom all in a... I'm not a fan of that. I'm not a fan of the black. Finished up. Then for dinner, I made this potato and pea curry and I had like four bowls of it. I was so hungry because I didn't want to stop working to get a snack. Then I had some dates by the fire for... It doesn't look too bad, right? I haven't added it all up, but it does, you know, she's having, if she's having these dates and she's having the fruit, like it, it's looking like a pretty good day. It's looking like a pretty good raw till four day. So good on ya, Kiki. That's great. Just keep up the amount of fruit you're having and things are going to be great and you're going to heal your thyroid. Um, what are you in a cleanse week for my thyroid? All right, let's go. Um. Healing my thyroid. So I start the morning off with a huge glass of lemon water and then I drink my enormous glass. Hang on. Um, there's music. I am not... Hmm. I'm not sure if it will be okay, but let's have a go, hey? So lemon juice, and then she's drinking an enormous glass of celery juice. It is huge, that is a big glass. So she's getting a lot of something. Of celery juice, it is huge. Then I move to my breakfast, which is the heavy metal detox smoothie. And heavy metal detox smoothie, okay. And that's really good, so I drink that up. And the cleanse I'm doing is out of the book. Ah, uh, okay, good, medical medium. Cleanse to Heal by Anthony William. Mm -hmm. So I do like Anthony. We we speak sometimes. He is a great guy. I think he's doing wonders for the world. So I support him on that. Um, I don't know what the ingredients of that was, but he's, he's very good. Like I, I like a lot of his videos and he's definitely promoting the fruit and whole foods. And he's against like Krakow and he's against the coffee. And I think that's excellent. I also take my herbs for my thyroid. I take Okay, so she, she's probably promoting these potentially. Take these three times a day. And then, you know, because I think she was promoting some supplements for hair loss and stuff like that. Like, that's not good either, okay? I don't care. Like, you know, you never promote supplements to strangers. It's very irresponsible and it's only money motivated. And for snacks, on the cleanse, you're allowed to have apples. So I had a couple apples. And I ate those in the car. Okay. Then we had to run some errands. We went to Shields, which was crazy busy with all of the holiday shoppers. Then my kids and husband were hungry. So we went and got some vegan sandwiches. And I had to sit there and watch them eat their delicious sandwiches. It is torture. Ah, oh, it's not delicious. It's just old grains that have been sitting in the silo for years. You don't need it don't recommend it so after that we went home oh you she should have been all carved up before she went there or taking a snack taking some dates if you want you can stuff some pecans in the dates make it a little bit more extravagant when i was able to make my lunch smoothie you can have some salads and some soups but this was easier for me so very healthy it's good do the smoothie because i like things to be quick then a little later i had some more snack which is some more apples and then we decided to take the kids ice skating which okay. is all and for dinner, um, I had the huge salad that's on the cleanse, and you okay. just cover it with orange juice, and it's really big. You can have as much salad as you want, and then you're supposed to end the day with hibiscus tea, and then I had some more dates. And All right, there she goes. There's her day, Let and it's not bad. Maybe a little bit less calories than usual. She went out. She had those of that one. She had two of those. Yep. It's not bad. It's not looking bad at all. I hope she keeps it up. Um, you know, I'm not 100% sold on the salary juice because, you know, I haven't researched enough myself and I do focus on this plant pesticides and the fact that you're taking the entire plant and that means you will be getting something. You will be getting some defense chemicals from the plant, something to think about. And if you keep having a lot and a lot and a lot of that, I don't know how that affects the body at this point. But cool. Okay. Yep. 
not t not bad at all Kiki so that's my video for today let us know who you want to see down below in the comments and how you feel and I'll talk to you soon don't forget to go through yourself